guys call me like a wuss or anything um like i generally like, like i hit the reef a lot i don't hit it like that hard like the the way that i hit it i just went up and over the falls and went smack and just hit it so hard like i've i've never hit the reef that hard especially on my back and the reef in bali there is super different to the reef in like wa where i normally surf is super normally soft here and stuff but over there it's sharp and just like oh it's just painful but um yeah so I ended up um, with a super bad, um, super bad scratch and stuff like from the reef. Still have it now, actually, um, a few weeks later. But like, 
I genuinely thought I wasn't going to be able to surf for the whole trip because I was the first day of the surf trip and I was like, oh no, I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to surf. I'm going to have a broken rib. I'm going to have to go to the hospital in Bali. I'm like, oh no, this is going to be really bad. Turns out there was luckily some doctors from down in Dunsborough who were actually in Bali and they helped me scrub my back and it hurt so bad, like full, just deep scrub um, when it was like bleeding and stuff to make sure I got all the coral out so no um, infection or anything. And yeah, basically didn't get any infection, but it ended up hurting really bad anytime I got in and out of the water for any surfs. But I was like, I have to surf because I'm not going to get another good chance to go to Bali for a while. So yeah, I still surf three or four times a day with super sore back, but yeah, got through it in the end and um, it's pretty much fully healed now. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and um, check these little clips out of the break that we looked at after this surf. Um, and yeah, hope you um, guys like the video and see you guys in the next one. Peace. Imagine living there. Holy crap. Oh, what?